QBASIC is a high-level programming language. You can tell the computer what to do using computer programming language. The computer follows each instruction step by step and does exactly what you tell it. By computer programming, you can solve maths problem, create art or music and much more. BASIC stands for Beginner's All-Purpose Symbolic Instruction Code. It was developed by Professor J. G. Kemeny and Professor T. E. Kurtz of Dartmouth College, USA in 1964 so that people with no programming background could learn programming concepts. The commands were in English and easy to use and implement into your program. BASIC kept growing and many different versions of BASIC were made. In the late 1980s, Microsoft made a more powerful and user-friendly version of BASIC. It was quicker, thus named QBASIC. The Q stands for quick. A few versions of BASIC are BASIC R, GW BASIC, QBASIC 1.0, QBASIC 4.5, QB64, etc. QB64 is a modern version of the basic programming language that allows QBASIC programs to run on Windows XP, Vista, Windows 7, Linux and Mac OS X. In this chapter, we will learn programming using QB64 IDE, Integrated Development Environment. Getting started with Microsoft QB64. You can download QB64 at the QB64.net. You can install QB64 by simply unpacking the zip file to any drive or folder. In order to start QB64, double click the icon on the desktop or click on this PC icon and browse the computer. Go to the folder where you have unzipped QB64 and double click on the QB64 application file. It is an integrated development environment or IDE developed by Microsoft Inc. to write, edit, debug and execute QBasic programs. The IDE is an editor that checks the code as you write so that there are no errors that it can detect. Working in the IDE is very simple. It is a menu-driven interface that provides a window having certain features. Title bar displays the program name. Menu provides most of the operations for the QBASIC editor. Name of current file name in the center below the menu bar. Space to write program. Window to immediately execute a command. Status bar shows the status of the code entries and syntax errors. Menu bar. Let us study the menu bar of the QBASIC window. It has six menus. Every menu has a drop down menu containing several options. Click on the menu or use the keyboard shortcut key combination to select a menu. The main menus are File, Edit, View, Search, Run, Options and Help. You will learn about File and Run menu. The File menu. File menu contains options related to file operations such as New, Open, Save, Save as, Exit. Keyboard shortcut, press Alt plus F to select file menu. The drop-down menu will be displayed with several options. Notice that one letter is highlighted in each option. This letter is the shortcut to select the option. Opening a new file. New option is used to open a file to write program. Keyboard shortcut, press Alt plus F to select file menu then press n for new option opening an existing file 
open option is used to open a program file that you have already saved. A dialog box appears when you select this option, showing the list of existing files. Select the file you want to open. Keyboard shortcut. Press Alt plus F to select file menu, then press O for open. Saving a file. Save option is used to save the current program that you are writing or making changes to it. The Save As dialog box appears when you select this option, asking for the file name. Give the file name with the extension .bas and press OK button. If you do not give the extension, the IDE automatically generates that. Keyboard shortcut. Press Alt plus F to select File menu and then press S for Save. Save as option is used to save an already saved file with some other name or to some other location. The Save as dialog box appears. Type some other file name and click OK. Keyboard shortcut. Press Alt plus F to select File menu and then press A for Save as. Exit from QB64. Exit option is used to exit from QBasic. Keyboard shortcut. Press Alt plus F to select File menu and then press X to exit. Run menu. This option is used to run or execute your program for getting output. Select Run and then Start from the drop-down menu to start execution. Keyboard shortcut. Press F5 to run a program.